So, what you're about to hear is, well, not too far off from what you would expect from someone like that. This is a typical, I'm a boss bitch. This is the typical, I'm going to woman-splain, mansplaining. For people who, so for people who don't know what mansplaining is, let me explain it to you. And I am a man, so that would make it mansplaining. But I don't care, because there are some people who may not know what the word is. Okay, so basically mansplaining is, in this person's situation, she may look like she doesn't understand what the person, uh, the other person's saying. Like, group of friends, or just one-on-one -on -one with someone, that other person might be talking, and she might be like, what? Oh, huh? I don't understand, I'm a dumb dumb And then the man proceeds to explain it to her, so that they can be on the same page. So it's not because you're a woman. It's not because he's trying to insult you. He can clearly see that you're not understanding what he's talking about. And instead of just continuing on with the conversation, he wants you to be on the same page. It's as simple as that. So mansplaining is just that. It's just a guy clearing things up or, or, you know, providing information that the girl is most likely lacking due to her facial uh, expressions of confusion, befuddlement, uh, and other facial, exp other features that clearly show that she's not on the same page as everyone else. But no, we can't do that anymore. Now it's got a name and it's called mansplaining. Also, man spreading is a thing too, which is when dudes sit on a, a you know a train or whatever, and they have their legs spread, and women start bitching, complaining about it, uh, and they fail to realize that men have these dangly things between their legs called testicles, uh, and and we can't sit with our legs closed like that because they crunch, you know, kind of like how you have these big things attached to your chest that hang down. Well, ours are between our legs. And when we close our big meaty thighs, uh, <laughs> we close them, they crush our fucking balls. So, but let's see what this young lady has, has to say. One of the biggest icks I'm experiencing in dating right now is the mansplaining. You want to know what my, one of my biggest icks? When people use words like icks. Oh my God, literally, literally, no. So she's almost 30 years old, by the way, and she's using words like icks. I, I'm, I'm, if, if you're, you're that old or that age and you're, it's like people my age saying poggers. I just, also the other one that really annoys me now is the let's go. I'm so tired of hearing that. Everything, everyone, let's go. But she immediately starts out, starts out with X. Yeah, we're off to a great start. And I don't know if it's because I look young and they think like, oh my God, like I'm gonna impress her and say all these facts and knowledge and she's gonna be like, oh my God, wow, you're so smart. Like, I don't know if it's like word vomit and you're nervous and you just start to la -la 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 and just ramble on and you just tell I think we see some of her life experience right there. <laughs> no, she's giving herself too much credit. She wants to think she's smart. But I guarantee you that this woman, while the, whoever is talking, she's sitting there like... Causing the man to then explain what's going on because visual cues indicate that she doesn't understand. Men are just not going to explain things out of nowhere. We need a reason to explain things. Usually it's with things that girls aren't too familiar with or life experiences, which this woman clearly doesn't have fucking have. But she's got experience. We saw what it was. Tell me everything that comes to your mind. I don't know what it is, but I promise you. I promise you, sir, I turned 30 at the end of this year. I have life experience. I've read a few books in my time. I pay taxes. 
I know how to check my mail. Holy shit. I have been wrong about her this entire time. She knows how to check her mail. Roxas, do you hear this shit? She. Oh my god. Everyone needs to know this woman knows how to check her fucking mail. Now, are we talking about physical mail here? Like, leaving your house, usually walking a few feet away, down the driveway, and some of them not even down the driveway. You know, you, you open your door, you have your little mailbox right there, you open it up, you put your hand inside, you close the mailbox, and you slide back into your house. And some people, more old school, they have to physically walk down to the mailbox at the end of their driveway. You know, it's a, a longer process, but same thing. So you leave your house, right? You walk down your driveway. You get to your mailbox. You open the mailbox. You insert your hand into the mailbox. You grab your mail, pull mail out, usually with the other hand that's free, close the mailbox, and then you walk back up into your house. Or is it a scenario like some people have where you have to go to the post office to check your mail? Either way, this is shit I was doing when I was in elementary school. So, you can check your mail. Wow. You've read a few books. I'm sorry, the books that you were forced to read in school don't count. They don't. You have life experience. Yeah, with getting tattoos. You have life experience with the piercings. Uh, you have... Uh, life experience with <laughs> while those are it's life experience uh, it, it's not life you know it's small pieces of life it's like a puzzle you know and these are just tiny little pieces in the broad scope of it they're just tiny pieces uh, tiny pieces and you know they really don't even have to be those harder pieces there these are like the corner pieces the Clearly, those that's where they go. That's how simple and, how, you know. But. I know how to, I know what my credit score is. I promise you. Sir. She can do her taxes and she knows what her credit score is. Again, taxes are not as complicated as they used to be. You can go to H&R Block or many, uh, any of the other numerous uh, places around you that do taxes. You can do it online. I mean, every year I do my taxes. I've been doing my taxes since I started working because that's what happens when you work. You do your taxes. Uh, so, you know, you have like TurboTax and stuff like that where, you know, you have your, your form. You can take a picture of it. Uh, upload it. It'll give you whether you want to enter it manually or, you know, when you upload it, it puts everything where it's supposed to be. And the whole thing takes a matter of like 10 minutes. Your credit score. If I recall, most credit card companies will show credit score on your, uh, your, you know, your account. So, I mean, she's listing things that normal adults do. What exactly is she bringing to the table apart from a fucking attitude that people aren't going to want to deal with? You do not have to explain everything. I, I am not as young as I look. No, you may not be as young as you look, but I bet you're twice as dumb. And that's why people have to explain things to you. You're a little slow on... I, you're, you're just a, a few employees short of a full staff. We'll just, we'll just say that. I'm sure you know a lot about your makeup. I'm sure you know about tattoos and your modeling and this and that. But when it comes to when was the Declaration of Independence signed or who is the current president, who's the current vice president, you know, stuff about life and the country, I'm sure you're dumber than a box of rocks. So this, these, 
modeling, being able to answer shit about that, that's not life experience. That's that's not uh being a, you know, smarter than I look. You know, it's like with football players. You see it all the time, and that's why they get such a bad reputation. You can ask them anything about the game. You know, and actually NFL, NBA, you whatever sport. You ask them anything about the game, and they can sit there and give you like a documentary style interview about what just happened. You ask them a simple question, geographical question, math question, they can't tell you because they're not nearly as smart as they look. So. It does not impress me. Please stop. Find, find something else to talk to me and connect with me on. Like what? Rather than also taking the time to say, you know, I like these things and and. Uh, Sorry, we're not going to sit there and talk about your long ass fake fucking nails or your tattoos or your piercings, these basic tattoos and piercings. We're, we're, we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about the 50 pounds of makeup you have to put on every day. What, what do you want us to talk about? What do you want us to talk about? Because I guarantee whatever we're going to try talking about, you're going to sit there like. And then guess what? We're going to have to mansplain to you. So what would you like us to talk about? Please, please, oh wise one, give us just a, a, a breadcrumb, just a, a tiny, tiniest little thing. The, the tiniest little thing we need to know, we need to know because men, despite our vast amount of skills, we're not fucking psychic. You know, a man, is not going to know what exactly to talk about. You know, that's why he'll talk about mundane, stupid things, because we don't know what to talk about. We don't know. Men are stupid like that. You know? You got to give us... It's like when girls are upset, you know? And we're like, why are you upset? And it's like, well, you should know. It's like, no, bitch, we don't know. That's why we're fucking asking. It's like, do you know how many things I've done throughout my day that probably upset you or pissed you off? You need to narrow things down for me. You need... So, like, say the box is here, and it's like fucking guess who, and you just kind of narrow it down till it's like one... Okay, it was this. You know? It's, that's pretty much what it is. It's guess who with fucking problems. Uh, Did it involve the bathroom? No. Okay, this, this, this is gone. Uh... You know, and it's like, oh, it was this. It's like a never ending game. But please tell us what we can talk about. What can we talk about where you're not going to fucking sit there and bitch complain that we're mansplaining to you? <clears throat> yes, because. Nothing says I'm going to be 30 years old quite like <laughs> or X. Um, she's also got a, uh, you know, TikTok, of course. Um, this is a question for all y'all men in their 30s who still use Snapchat. Who's on there? Who are you snapping? And why are y'all still posting stories? Ask me for a friend. Coming from the person who's making a TikTok, uh, a 30 year old woman in their tick, uh, you know, on TikTok. What? I mean, you could say she's got a point, but you know, Snapchat, I think, has come kind of, kind of become like Facebook, you know, friends, family, you know. Your grandma gets a colonoscopy, and guess what? She's got to fucking snap you about that. You know, look at my brand new colonoscopy bag. You know, it's just, that's what they do. That's what they do. Um, at mom's funeral, feeling cute, might delete later. You know, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Oh man, I just took the biggest shit. Looks like New Hampshire. You know? Stupid shit. But, uh, yeah, she's... 
exactly the kind of person you would think of the person who thinks they've got the looks clearly lacking the brain department doesn't have any real life experience apart from you know tattoos and piercings and <laughs> um so septum ring every single time the bull ring. The neck tattoo doesn't say brilliant. You know, this is the kind of person who's sitting there complaining about, uh, mansplaining, who likes to think she's a boss bitch, and she's going to get tired of, you know, men mansplaining. She's going to get to 35, 36, and she's going to realize she's still alone because no one wants to deal with her bullshit. She's going to look at all her friends who have decided, oh, hey, this lifestyle I'm living you know, I'm, I'm at a certain age where, you know, we shouldn't really be doing this. And they're going to move on. They're going to have husbands and wives and children, their own property. And this woman is going to be alone, thinking, what? There's no good men anymore. All these men are toxic. It's like, no, it's you. Maybe you're the problem. I'm not as young as I look. Oh, sweetie. Oh, my sweet, sweet summer child. She's woman-splaining. That's why it took so long. See, mansplaining only takes half the time. Uh-huh. Don't be Fred with this one. All I'm saying is don't be the guy with the flowers. She needs to date men who aren't intimidated by her beauty. You can tell who they are by the way they listen to you talk. Pay taxes, read a couple of books, and knows how to check her mail. Dear God, she might be Jason Bourne. Dear God, it's Jason Bourne. But do you know what a computer is? She's single. How about your daddy issues? Is that off limits? Report, mansplaining down, but woman confusion up. Is that like an actual glass? Like it's got like an actual like little cat? I wouldn't be surprised. She's one of the types of people who create passport bros. Yeah. I know that's another thing I have to mansplain because they're like passport bro. Basically people in America who are now going to places like China, J China, Japan, and other places like that to meet women over there because they're not nearly as high maintenance. Some of them are just like in America, but they appreciate the men, the women you find, it's a lot easier and they appreciate you a lot more than they do over here. So men are actually getting passports to go to Japan and China, Taiwan, you know, other Asian type countries, uh, and, and, and really all over the world, but you see, uh, you've seen a greater increase in people in like the Asian countries um, due to men just having sick and tired of the women here in America. So they're going to other countries to find women because they're just tired of the women here. Dating at 30 and she's complaining. Ma'am, you had your entire 20s to find a man. Now that you're 30, don't get upset when, uh, when there is uh, about what there is to choose from. Yeah. Checking your mail. Congratulations on super, super basic life skills. Yeah, exactly. What, what does she bring to the table? And don't, she'll say, oh, my great personality. Bitch, shut your fucking mouth. Don't even lie. Don't even lie. And don't say your looks because it's fake. You got 50 pounds of fucking makeup on. So what do you bring? <laughs> she carries her own birth control and male repellent. Too bad. She'll regret those choices. How did just... <laughs> Positive to negative there. Something else has to connect with me on something, something else to connect with me on. Okay. We'll do that kind of connecting if you want. <laughs> but can you read a spreadsheet? Old maid alert. I had to turn it off. Couldn't listen to her brag about accomplishing simple daily tasks. Hey. Hey, doing your taxes is not a daily task. That's once a year, and 
It's 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 like Christmas. It's a huge event. I mean, why do you think they show show so many fucking goddamn commercials for H and R Block and TurboTax and all these other you know? Because it's it's huge. It's huge. People all over the world are doing their taxes. It's festive. It's wonderful. People coming together. I thought this was a job for an interview, an interview for a job. What this young woman completely missed is love. Love. The emotion of love. What is love? Love. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Wow, she knows all the basics. Congratulations, honey. Remove the use of like in each sentence. Also, literally. I cannot stand that. I cannot stand when th these people just literally. Oh my god, I literally died. No, you didn't literally die. That means you'd be fucking dead. Learn the definite the difference between li literally and figuratively or metaphorically. But I I have life experience. Nice, nice. Now how about your relationship with your father? No, it's you. It's because you got bro energy, so they talking to you like a bro. It's not mansplaining when you're a bro. It's just two dudes talking. You're listening to a bro share his knowledge, affirm, you know, or reciprocate. And no, it's uh, and now it's her turn. Except she took took it as an ick. Uh huh. Yeah. She see. Turn, turn off, turns off, uh, turn off, swippy hands, seal clapping. The shut up, silly woman. Yeah, what happened to narcissist? She's never going to find a man she thinks she wants. She's too busy discarding a man who she needs. She has a credit score. Yes. And sometimes they show up, you know, you know, your, your, your information like that shows up in your mail and she knows how to check her mail. Life experience at 30. Maybe it's the door knocker nose ring, claws, nose ring, tats, excessive hand motions, blathering on in complaint. Date is over before it begins. Sometimes it's the, <laughs> it is best to use the mute button. It'd like click. Wouldn't it be nice if you just, you know, you just have a universal remote control that remote controls your universe. You know, you can just turn things down or turn things up, and mute them, and it'd be so great. Stop trying to date soy boys and maybe find a real man. No, because she'll be threatened by that because, uh-oh, he's holding the door open for her. That's toxic. All men simultaneously around the globe. Mr. Rogers, man. Um. Padded and slutty. I feel bad for men at that, that age. If this is what's out there, it appears to be that this is the kind of woman you have to choose from. <laughs> Comments to TikTok, man. Idiot tattoos. Maybe try some. Try knowing something you can, uh, so you can join the conversation. Then you won't feel like it's man. Exactly, it would be a conversation. That's why men do it, because you're giving off physical cues, facial expressions that say, "I don't know what you're talking about." Simple as that. Simple as that. She's woman explaining. That's pretty annoying. <laughs> Paying taxes. Oh, a little girl. I got some explaining to do. Get into wrestling. That's not wrestling. She read a few books. <laughs> Guaranteed high body count. Again, she's got life experience, but not life experience. She's She's experienced with <laughs> I 
Run away, meet someone like this and like this and run away. She thinks she looks young. She's old. Next. I can fix her. Uh-huh. Mansplaining down, woman confusion up. Men want to date women, not... Uh, what was it? You're always a single... You date boys, not men. Men do not date girls, they date women. Yeah. But unfortunately, this is how most people are being primed now. You know, you hear big tech and government and, you know, everyone talking about, you know, toxic masculinity and this and that. And these, you know, younger people are now primed to think that uh, opening the door for a woman is toxic, that giving her a compliment is toxic, uh, toxic, that having to explain something to her is toxic. It, it, and that it, it's, it's bad. Again, mansplaining doesn't exist. This is just something people like her thought of. Essentially no real reason, just to bash men. You know? But, yeah, she seems nice. She seems nice. She's got life experience. Remember, she can check her mail. Something I was doing when I was a fucking, in, in like elementary school, kindergarten really, checking mail. They're basic life skills. It's like cooking or, you know, when I was middle school, I took home ec, I took shop. So I know how to cook. I know how to sew. I can, I, you know, dealing with metal and stuff like that. Basic life skills. You are not bringing anything to the table by saying, oh, I can check my mail. I know my credit score. I've read a few books. Good for you. What are you physically and emotionally bringing to the table. And do not say your looks. Because I guarantee, without the 50 pounds of makeup on, you don't look nearly as good. Which, that's fine. But if you think the way you are, the way you look with the makeup is what's going to keep people interested, it, it, it's not. We want to see what's behind that. And unfortunately, you get so used to wearing all that, that's who you think you are. And she really doesn't seem to have much of a personality to speak of. So what does she bring? I don't know. I don't know. She just seems like a simple, basic, you know, just basic. There's dime a dozen and you can find anyone just like her, but better and not have to deal with the same bullshit that you would have to deal with with her. So also. Roxas. Roxas. But I hope you've enjoyed my long-winded uh, mansplaining of women-splaining. Tune in tomorrow. <laughs> no. It's, it's still early, so. <sighs> she knows how to check her mail. 